Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Open Studio for Data Integration. In this tutorial, we will be using XML file as our source to read the data. And we will also see other components like T convert type, T Java row, T extract XML field, T XML map, and the usage of those components. So let's go ahead and see the example file that we are going to use in this tutorial. So this is the XML file. This XML file is different from the traditional XML files because this XML file we received as a output for the SOAP call that we sent to the web services. And it has written this XML file as a response and this XML file has C data section in it. So let's quickly see what C data does. C data section allows the XML markup to be embedded but not interpreted as part of the XML document itself. So this will be embedded but it will not be treated this section as XML. So when we try to import this XML file in talent we will not get all the tags present within the arc2 section will not be parsed. So let's see if it give any name and let's read the XML file that we said it will not parse the tags present within the arc2 section. So it has passed all the tags but within the arc2 section we have other tags which are not parsed because it is embedded and it will not be considered as part of the XML. So that's why we were unable to parse the tags present within the R2 section. So how to deal with such XML files? So for that we need T file input XML component and in this give the parse the file that we need to parse departure xml file and then which tag we need to parse we are parsing the r2 section so i have provided that information and then get everything all the nodes present within the r2 section after that let's disconnect this and let's run through step by step So let's display first what exactly the T input component is doing. So our plan is to extract everything present within the TR2 section. So with the help of that component we have extracted everything present within the TR2 section. But still if you see this section is not considered as an XML file. So for that we need to get rid of the first tag here, complete this section, then the closing part. So now this is read as an XML and we can parse the data. So we were able to get this section using the T input file. After that we are using T convert type because we need to type cast the data type from document to string so that is what we are doing from document to string we are type casting the data type so that our t java row can get rid of the c data tag here we are replacing this section and the closing section of the C data tag. So we are replacing it with the help of 
e-replace function available in talent and once once it is done so let's see the output let's see we have replaced that in t java transformation so this is this is what we want and after that we can parse the data using txml map so here we have two options i have used t xml t extract xml field instead of using again the t convert type to convert it back to the document data type so let's see here all we are doing is we will get the input as string and we are saying send the output as document because from in the java transformation the input and the output is string when it goes to the txml file we are getting it as a string and we are passing the output as a document and we are saying read everything present within the tr2 tag so it will read everything that is present within these two tags so that is exactly what we are doing in the t extract xml field before we pass it to the txml map and we are looping every, everything we are getting all the nodes within the tr2 section so we are get, get, getting everything within that tags and in the txml map we either we can create all these manually so let's let me do this from the start so let's remove the txml map let's connect it yeah. so all those all those tags uh, uh, will not be populated automatically we need to either create them manually like this and then as we know the as we know the xml file we will pass these tags one by one manually or the other good option will be instead of passing them manually we can copy this section subset of the data so i'm copying the subset of the data and then i have to close these two tags So I'm creating a sample XML. What I'm doing is I'm taking a subset subset of the data. Let's say if we have ten thousand, you know, data set like like these, you know, department. This is one section. We have ten thousand of such, you know, repeated <coughs> tags within this XML. Instead of creating them manually in Tmapro, we will take the sub subset of the data. And then we'll try to import it in so we have created on our desktop we have created the sample XML so it, all those tags will come automatically in that case we don't need to create them manually by creating manually we, we might end up doing you know silly mistakes like you know misspelling any of the tags or missing any of the tags so instead i would recommend to take the subset of the data and then import it we are looping through the department we need all the data to be output and then connect to the t log row 
to display the final data. So, tmap, txml map can be used to parse the xml data. We need to provide either we can create these manually or as I explained take the subset of the data and import it in the txml map that is the best approach so that we won't miss anything and then it's very difficult to debug as well so I will suggest to create a sample data set and then import it in the txml map for 100% accuracy let's run the job and see if we get the final desired output there you go we were able to read all the three sections so New York Los Angeles and Columbus we, ha we have passed it through the TXML map has passed it through all these sections So let's recap what we have done. We have used TXML input, input XML and then we pass it the path and then we have given the tag which we want to read through the enter XML. Which XML tag we need to pass is the arc2 XML tag which we need to pass through. So get everything that is present within the arc2 tag, right? So we did that and then we have converted the document data type to string so that we can use tjava row to get rid of the C data section within the XML so that we can parse the tags in TXML map. So this is how we can parse the XMLs that we get as part of the response from the web services when we send an SOP call to the web services it will send the response in an XML file those XML files at times will have C data sections so this using this approach we can parse those kind of XMLs which are not the traditional XMLs if it is a traditional XML we can directly import them as as the source and we can start reading the data Hope you have understood all these components along with how to read XMLs which have C data section or we can say XML within XML, how to read such XMLs in Thailand. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.